evening and welcome to a Sunday night vlog. Um, well, what can you say? It's been all kicking off um, with our visit, night visit to the Denby Mental North Wales Hospital. Um, created a lot of interest uh, and there's a lot of people who have come forward with saying they've heard sounds and to check them out and sue if you're watching um, and if anybody else wants to hear this and when you how can I say you know we've missed a lot of sounds I suppose on these videos because uh, you edit them put them up and you hear the odd thing but this is where other people come into it because they can hear stuff we miss or whatever and that's the case here because if you go to on my video 701 we're outside and I'm talking to the camera now Graham is here now you'll hear a <sighs> loud as anything right into the near the camera if you like but you'll see I'm here so it's not me and you'll see Graham, he had, his, he's, he had his back towards the camera and then I turn it and he's not close enough for it and yet I missed it that was a fantastic capture um, so well spotted that, thanks very much and this is why I always say if anybody hears anything leave it in the comments and it, it, it's true, it works um, I'm going to put this video on my paranormal channel after this video and um, there'll be a lot of interest there and then the sounds so uh, yeah so a revisit will be made now we'll uh, I'll be seeing Graham I'll be seeing you Graham um, early this next week and we'll uh, arrange something to go back and I'll just show you if anybody's interested um, when I used to do investigations I had all the gear and take it with you and you'd be lucky to capture a, a orbs or sound or whatever but I, I, I've never captured so much well what do you call it unidentified audio you know I can't say they're ghosts you can't say whatever but they're they're not I can't logically explain what they are because you, you look at stuff and you try and put a straight away you try and put a logical explanation into it but sometimes you can't and that is what's the interesting thing because we don't know what they are um, the equipment I'll take with me when we revisit um, especially the canteen is this thing which is a, a gauss meter it's an EMF meter but it's a very sensitive meter and if I press the, if I switch it on, you'll you watch the. It's picking up the camera now, but that's not a bad reading, um, and that'll pick up any sort of EMF readings in the area. Now, in the canteen, there'll be no electric; it's all gone, so there'll be no interference that way. But if I put this to the camera. So I have to keep it this far from the camera and that's always in my head so uh, I'll take that, the gauss meter, I'll probably take, um, I don't know yet, these here are motion detectors and there's uh, one here and one there and you switch them on and put them opposite each other in a room. Now if anything comes in between them an alarm will go off uh, but the only thing with this is it's, you, I always find you're better putting something like this <coughs> with a camera that's locked off near them so if they do go off the camera will see whatever and also pick up the alarm because um, if we heard them going off I think we'd leg it <laughs> and the other thing this is what I wanted to take especially with what we've captured with sound and size and 
is this thing it's um, a voice recorder um, and I'll leave that recording probably somewhere as we ever wander around um, anyway you know them three things I'll take and see what happens but um, all good stuff all good stuff uh, I've got a fridge tour to come up probably either late tonight or tomorrow morning because um, I had a comment on one of them oh wow this video changed my life <laughs> so I thought right you put, uh, I'll uh, put another one I know people love them <laughs> anyway it's only a bit of fun it's only a, you know, a bit of a joke really but people do like to see what you've got it started, Graham started it off and I thought and uh, it's a good idea that so I thought alright I'll do one um, yeah it's uh, it's only a bit of fun isn't it so yeah thanks for all the uh, support and the comments and hearing stuff and it's always good you know for stuff we've missed how I've missed that one there's a couple on here which are clear and I've missed them so um, thanks to you good people they've now been logged so a revisit will be made as I say, I'll be seeing you, Graham, um, next week, this next week, and uh, we'll discuss it then when we're going to revisit and go back in. So, <laughs> more scary times to come. God bless me. And it is a scary place. Is it? Is it? I don't know. Graham will vouch for this. Even though, as I said, we've known the place in the day it's a totally different place at night it's like the atmosphere is pressured it's like a big pressure there and like Graham said when we were there he said in the video actually he's like he's anxious he's waiting for something to happen it's true that I don't know it's just weird I had a in the canteen male ward 8 not so bad footage missing annoying and yet very strange again um, in the canteen itself, there's some, there is something about the. I felt, um, you know, when you feel some somebody's watching you, a horrible feeling. Um, in there, but uh, oof, yeah. Anyway, we'll go on. Thanks for watching, and uh, look out for the fridge tour. One of the next videos. <laughs> uh, I know certain people love them. You see, that's what it is. Um, and if you're subscribed to my other channel, the Paranormal, the North Wales Paranormal channel, you'll see this video come up again. So don't feel you have to watch it. It's only the same video. So thanks for watching and I'll speak to you soon.